Christine Ferrouge, and this series is called Girls in the Mirror. It's part of my solo exhibition at Gallery 825 Los Angeles Art Association. paintings in this series, all four by five feet, and just a selection of them are here at A25. This series continues my decade or so long study of girlhood, in this case, about looking in the mirror, identity, image, discovering both your surface and maybe a little bit of who you are on the inside too. These paintings were inspired by a moment where my girls rushed into the bathroom and all started looking in the mirror and doing their hair. The moment reminded me of so many moments that maybe like I had as a young girl getting ready. It's a moment of reflection where you see yourself in the mirror, maybe for the first time, maybe you recognize something there new, maybe it's just simply fixing your hair. For the last decade or so, my work has been studying my three daughters, and through that careful observation, I've created lots of different works about girlhood. These paintings are focused on a narrative of being in front of the bathroom mirror. A different personal and social connotations can be brought to the surface. Sometimes it reminds people of getting ready with sisters or friends or but that age-old act of crimping could also lead to narcissism or feelings of inadequacy. To me, the paintings are hopeful and dignifying of these powerful young women to be. It's my mother's view of my three daughters, but it's also really from the girl perspective, which is very different than a lot of art history's view of women in paintings. Also, as I was working on this series, I thought about all of the other paintings in art history that are with women or girls looking into the mirror, and it was interesting to see that a lot of those were favorite works that I've admired over the years. But I think this view is quite different than a lot of what has already come in art history and in culture. Something else I wanted to try with these was the reflective quality and the silver reflective quality of the mirror. Um, something that is different. I've, I've often used the negative spaces kind of very open and the silver reflective surface, the viewer actually kind of can see themselves moving in front of it too, reminding it's the artist, the people in the painting, and then the viewer really completes that circuit. Mm -hmm. 